This is the eighth grade math practice test for T and Ready. On this version of the test, this is question number 28. A rectangle has a width of 28 centimeters and a length of 45 centimeters. What is the length in centimeters of the diagonal? So anytime I have this, the opportunity to do it and I have the time to do it, uh, I'll probably have some sort of picture in this situation just to give myself a feel for what they're actually asking me to do. So it has a length of 45, there you go, and it has a width of 28. And they want to know, well, how long is this diagonal here? And that is the not even close to being a diagonal. Yeah, it's still not great, but it's better. What do we know about rectangles? We know they have four sides. We know opposite sides parallel. And we also know that the angles are 90 degrees. So this is a right angle, which means that this right here, terribly organized is a right triangle. So I'm going to put this over here so you can see it in that. And I'm going to worry about this triangle here. So I'll have that triangle, nice right triangle there, 28 and 45. The thing about having a right triangle to work with is that I know that if I have two sides of the right triangle, I can find the third side using dot, 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 the Pythagorean theorem. Right triangle, you know two sides. You need the third side, Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The right angle is created by the sides a and b. So this is a and this is b, or this is a and this is b. It doesn't actually matter. So I will put in 28 there, and for b, 45. Now I know the easy move is just to start jamming stuff in your calculator and never writing any of this down, but it really helps you organize the information. In this case, you are finding C, but in a lot of these, you don't. You're finding A or B, and if you just try to add these because you're not paying attention to where they're located, that's going to be a problem. So start out by writing down the Pythagorean theorem, then identifying where they're located, and the more steps you write, the more likely you are to get the answer correct, because this is not a difficult question. But it is an easy question to miss because you're not paying any attention. Hopefully your calculator is better than this one and has a button that will let you raise something to the second power. Mine does not. Fortunately, I know that that means multiplying it by itself. Seven eighty-four plus. Twenty twenty-five is equal to c squared. Now I'm ready to combine like terms. Twenty-eight zero nine is equal to c squared. The nice thing about this is it doesn't actually ask you ask you to have it in any particular form. Now there may be situations in which it does ask you, but in this one it does not. That's actually a very convenient feature for somebody like me, in this case, who does not have a scientific calculator. Hopefully you'll have one for your tests, but if you don't, it's okay. Because I have one more step to go. I'm trying to find the value of this length here, not c squared. Which, by the way, the squares are actual squares. This went off the screen, obviously, but you'd have another square that's like this. If you made them into squares, this the number of one by one blocks in here plus the number of one by one blocks in there will actually fit inside that square. So that's where the square comes from. Anyways, I'm not looking for the square. I want to know. I don't care that there's two hundred or two thousand eight hundred and nine little individual one unit blocks. I want to know what the length of one of the sides is. So I need to take get rid of this square and take the square root, because that's the opposite of squaring. So the nice thing about this is I could leave it in this form. And it's still an acceptable answer. You don't have to have the f any particular form unless they say, make sure you have it in the form. Now, if you do have a scientific calculator, you might want to go ahead and work this out. And if you take the square root of 2,809, you'll end up with a side length of 53 centimeters. So 53 goes right there. And that's all you need to do. So... For this question, it helped me that, number one, I drew the picture so I could see what was going on. Number two, 
when I realized I was working with the right triangle, I immediately thought, well, do I have two sides? And the answer to that question was yes. So I wrote down the Pythagorean theorem. Number three, I identified A and B and C, incidentally, and substituted my values in appropriately, and then I solved, remembering to always end with a square root when you do the Pythagorean theorem. It can get you to the correct answer, because the thing you do not want to do, no matter how low level your calculator is, is put 2,809 in there, because that is not what you're looking for. You're looking for the value of C. So be careful. Uh, not super difficult question, but a really easy question to get wrong.